This is the problem which relates to the number of electrons and number of holes with the help of carrier concentration. The statement is like this. The suppose a pure silicon crystal has 5 into 10 to the power of 28 atoms per meter cube. It is doped by 1 ppm concentration of pentavalent arsenic. Calculate the number of electrons and holes given that Ni is equal to 1.5 into 10 to the power of 16 per meter cube. So it was happened at the same temperature. So the due to the thermal excitations, the number of electrons are equal to the number density. So what we can understand is number of electrons is equal to number density. What is the reason? At constant temperature. So we know that Ne into Nh is equal to Ni square. We should find out the number of holes. So number of electrons are over. Number of electrons are equal to the sum uh, 5 and 10 to the power of 28 atoms per meter cube. So number of holes is equal to Ni square by Ne. So what is Ni? 1.5 into 10 to the power of 16 meter power minus 3 whole square by what is a uh, n e one five into ten to the power of twenty eight so it will be two point two five into ten to the power of thirty two meter power minus six because minus three whole square means six only so by five into ten to the power of twenty eight meter power minus three if you do the calculation, you will get some 4.5 into 10 to the power of uh, 4 meter power minus 3. So in terms of other words, we can write 4.5 into 10 to the power of 9 meter cube. So these many holes are there. So at constant temperature, number of electrons is equal to the number density. So like this, we can find out the number of electrons and number of holes. The next concept is Pn junction. So what is this junction formation? Junction formation means P is nothing but a P-type semiconductor. N is nothing but a N-type semiconductor. While you are writing individually, P-type and N-type, you should follow the small cases or the lower cases. But you are writing the diode where when the combination of P-type and N-type semiconductors, we should use the upper cases. So that is one of the scientific language to express these things. So the PN junction, the P-type semiconductor and N-type semiconductor, they fuse together by maybe due to the thermal excitation or uh, waxing okay, or the wafers are closed together by a metal contact. This is called a junction diode. So mixing or combining the two different semiconductors is called junction. Here P type and N type are different in nature that's why we are forming a a compromising between these two types of semiconductor that's why it is called a junction so this is called to be junction formation but there are some difficulties to form the junction this is the p-type semiconductor this is the n-type if these two are fused together there are two problems diffusion and drift diffusion and drift means let us suppose in p type holes are greater than electrons in n type electrons are greater than holes majority minority and vice versa 
whenever this p type and n type are mixed together through a wafer a p type silicon is connected to a n type silicon it will become psi will become nsi psi wafer will become nsi what is the meaning of diffusion or what is the meaning of drift the diffusion is like this let us suppose if this is the p type semiconductor okay and this n type the fuse it together from p type so the holes it diffuses from p to n electrons diffuse from n to p or drifts from m to p this point is very very important as the p uh, as the holes diffuse from p to n this will leave an ionized donors aside as well as electrons are diffused or drifts from n to p these electrons will leave the ionized acceptors these ionized donors and ionized acceptors will form a junction layer between p and n that is said to be depletion layer so as the p to n diffusion p to n holes diffusion So this holes diffusion from P to N leaves an ionized donor layer. Vice versa, when electrons are drifting or diffusing, from N to P, it leaves an ionized acceptor if this is the case these ionized donors and ionized acceptors are the left blanks this will create a depletion layer between the p type and n type semiconductors the depletion layer is also called potential barrier the schematic diagram will be like this p type This is n type. So p type semiconductor and n type semiconductor, maybe the width is different. We will try to adjust the width also. So this is called depletion layer. Deplete means nothing is there inside nothing that same the neutral so but this nothing will contain some uh, equal amount of holes and electrons that's why it acts as a potential barrier for the diffusion and for the further diffusion and drifting of the n 2 p or p 2 n so it is also acts as potential barrier whenever this type of junction is created between the p and n and fuse it together by the creation then it is act as a pn junction diode so what is the meaning of diode two electrodes two electrodes means P type semiconductor acts as one electrode, N type semiconductor will act as another electrode. Between these two, this depletion layer acts as a potential barrier for the further diffusion and 
drifting means uh, if there is any case if pn is connected to a battery or any power source this diffusion and uh, drifting takes place via potential barrier so diode acts as a two electrodes so this pn junction diode can be connected in two different ways in a circuit or to a battery first one is forward bias second one is reverse bias so what is forward bias what is reverse bias what are the graphs in this case we are going to discuss now this pn junction diode is also called a semiconductor diode called semiconductor diode so this semiconductor diode the schematic diagram of the semiconductor diode is like this p type n type and in the middle a depletion layer which contains electron electron and proton proton this is the case but if you want to use the semiconductor diode in electronic circuits there should be a conducting coat on the walls of the pn that's why for the p side one metallic contact for the n side another metallic contact should be connected So this is metallic contact. This is also metallic contact. Okay. If you like this video, please give a thumbs up. Please subscribe to our channel to get more videos on CBSE syllabus.